Hello, my name is Anthony Washington, and I'm a solution specialist for Night Office Solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to install print drivers for your Lanier copier onto your Windows 10 computer. Please note that these instructions also apply to Ricoh and Savin models. Let's get started. The first thing you want to do is create a folder on the desktop where you'll be saving the drivers. Because we'll be installing a Lanier MPC 6503, I'm going to name the folder Lanier MPC 6503. Then, go to the website for the manufacturer of your device, Lanier, Rico, or Savin. In this case, we'll be going to Lanier.com, then click Support and Downloads. In the search bar, type the model of the device and hit Enter. Then, select Drivers and click I agree on the software license agreement. From there, the website should recognize your operating system. Verify that it's correct and scroll down to the tab titled Printer Drivers. Here at night, we typically download the PCL6 driver. Click the download button for the driver you'd like to install. Once you click download, select run and an extractor will appear. Select browse and navigate to the folder you created at the beginning of this process. For this video, we put the folder on the desktop so I will navigate there and then I'll select the folder containing the drivers. Afterward, you'll click OK. Then, click unzip. Most computers already have an unzipping utility loaded onto them, but if yours doesn't, it's not too hard to find one for free online. Once you've unzipped the files, you'll see an icon pop up letting you know that your files have been successfully unzipped. Click OK, and then close out the extractor. Now that you've successfully unzipped the driver package, let's install the printer. To do so, navigate to Control Panel and select Devices and Printers. Select the Add Printer option located near the top of your screen. Regardless of whether or not your printer is found on the scan of your network, we recommend clicking the printer that I want isn't listed. We do this because it prevents issues by using the IP address to connect the printer directly. Simply select add a local printer or network printer with manual settings and click next. Then select create a new port and choose standard TCP IP from the drop down menu. Once you've done that, click next. Now you'll want to type the IP address of your printer. The IP address you enter should automatically copy over into the field titled port name. Next, you can uncheck the last option that is automatically checked by default since we've already downloaded the driver. Once that's completed, click Next. Your computer should search for your machine and select it for you automatically. Now we want to install the print driver that was previously downloaded. To do this, you'll select Have Disk, then click Browse, navigate to your desktop, and double click your folder. Next, double click Disk 1, and then double click OEM Setup. Once those steps are completed, click OK. On the next page, Select Lanier from the list on the left-hand side, and then select your model type from the list on the right-hand side. Next, you can choose to rename the printer if you'd like. In offices with multiple machines, you may wish to rename the device to identify its location. Once you're satisfied with the name, click Next. The printer will now install. Once the installation is complete, click Finish. Now, your printer should be listed under Devices and Printers in the control panel. To set it as the default printer, right-click the device and click Set as Default Printer. Or you can right-click and select Printer Properties to set the printing defaults. Typically, we set ours a single-sided black and white. To do this, we'll be exploring two of the tabs. To start, let's click Advanced. Then click Printing Defaults. Under Two-Sided Printing, select Off from the drop-down. Next, click the Color tab and select Black and White from the drop-down menu. Then click Apply and click OK. Now, go back to your Printer Properties window and select General. Then navigate to Preferences and ensure that the changes you made in Advanced tab have carried over. Then click OK. With those changes made, your printer will now default to single-sided printing. If you'd like to test your printer, simply navigate to Printer Properties window and select Print Test Page. There you have it. Your Lanier printer is now set up to run on your Windows PC. And that's all there is to it. We hope you found this video helpful and that you'll come back whenever you have routine maintenance questions. If you have an issue that isn't covered in one of our videos, feel free to give us a call and one of nice experienced technicians will help you get up and running in no time.